This is The Scene on BBC Radio London with Ori Styler. This is The Scene. Forever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, I'm just teasing my guy. This is Ori Styler, BBC Radio London, The Scene. We've got some great guests in the building. I've got Rebecca Winter, I've got Mr Owen, I've got a third guest that's just joined. Uh, a friend to the room, and he's been here before. My guy, my bridging. What's going on, Jay Amore? How you I'm doing, sir? Good, King. How you doing, man? I'm all right. Sing a song, write a Jay Amore, and also the person that performed the song you just heard, which is called Forever. New yeah. music out, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Process. I like that. You went through... Yeah. A pro- you went, um, last time we had you on the show, you were telling us about the process you were going through yeah. in terms of uh, kind of re-loving music again, and, and, and it's all coming out now. Bro, there's a lot. Yeah? There's a lot. There's a lot. Last time I, I think I we played Queen, I sang "If I Don't Wake Up Today," mm. and "If I Don't Wake Up Today" hasn't been released yet. And today we're playing "Forever," so there's and that's a tip of the iceberg, bro. There's nice. a lot. There's a lot. But thank you for having me down, man. No, no, no. Thank you for coming back, Jay. You did a performance that day, and it was just amazing. Thank you. And man. it was very fitting. If I believe it was on on that day, a quite a sad day, if I'm right. Yeah. Um, where we lost um UK artist yeah. Cadet. Am I right? Yeah. So it was, and then you did a song. If um, name the song again. If I don't wake up today. If I don't wake up today, and it was just, it was so. We didn't even plan, obviously, to have Jay on because of that. But Jay was already scheduled to come on, mm. and it was, it just, it hit home with a lot of people when they were listening to the show and then listening to the tribute we did for him, and then you to sing as well. So now, yeah. thank you for doing that, sir. Yeah, appreciate you, bro. So on, a, I mean, let's let's bring a mood up a bit because I know that can be quite a heavy topic, sir. So. Uh, Forever and Queen, I and mean, we spoke about Queen before, but Forever, you just sang, we just played just now. What does that mean? Forever? Yeah. Um, this song is, was I talking about this last time? I don't know. This song is essentially like, I'm in love with a girl, right? But that doesn't mean everything's perfect. I sat down with my dad a few weeks ago, right? And he said, listen, like there's, like Princess Diana and Charles didn't make it and they had everything, right? Well, it's true, wow. Do you know what I'm saying? So you can, That's you can be out here. That's that wisdom in a way. You can be out here searching for all the things you want. Yeah. All the things you want. Like you want money, let's get it. You want holidays, let's get it. Let's gifts and get a nice house and da, 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 have the kids make mm. them smart do the, and you still won't have everything you want to make love work out do you know what i'm saying and that's essentially what this song's about my thing is listen we're going to go through all the stuff we're going to go through um but if you just accept the fact and i just accept the fact and choose the fact that i'm here forever by your permission i'll stay wow. do you know what i'm saying them nice. deep ones Ouch. there them mm. deep what Mr. O's shocked and he and he's oh, written, and it, <laughs> the woman in Mr. O right now is coming out. He's, yeah. Trust me, that's a new book now. Right? Yeah. So wow, <laughs> Jay. I mean, I've I've known for Rebecca and and Mr. O. You don't know this, but me and Jay go way back. We're way. talking about maybe eighteen, nineteen years now, wow. right? So we I've known mm. Jay a long, long time from from Mr. Dancing Jay, always smiling, happy to this. Uh deep philo- philosophical character that you're seeing now. Uh. I'm, 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 I'm not surprised. Uh. I'm not saying that you were never a deep person, but that just hit me. I'm not going to lie to you. That really, is, and that Charles quote that your dad, that your dad said, I'm, yeah. I have to use that now as yeah. well, you know. Yeah, that, you see what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's a right meme there. right now. <laughs> that. Wow. It's all truth to me as well. I just, do you know what it is? I grew up with ideals, man. Like, like we're saying about being 18, I had ideals mm. and everything in the future was an ideal. Mm. And there's there's a, quite a few different versions of reality that hit you mm. and you've got to choose which ones you, you live into and you live in. Mm. And my one is just, man, life is actually real, but we're here in it and we've mm. chosen to be here in it. So you take the good and the bad stuff and you just live and you enjoy it. It's yours. <laughs> Wow. Do you know what I'm saying? Same thing inside of love, man. Inside of the the art and the act and the beauty of love. Mm. Like, come on, man. Like, don't expect you to smile every day. You're not going to wake up without sleep in your eyes some mornings. Do you yeah, know what I mean? True. Like, just ex- experience it, man. <laughs> the whole morning thing. breath when you breathe and say hi. And like, hey, babe. Hi like, nah. in your nose. That's going to be there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That kicks for me. That's beef. That's, that's a fight when that happens, you know. I'm not going to lie. Hi, I don't need, no, don't welcome me. Don't welcome me. If you're gonna speak to me, face the other way. Can you have no manners today, please? Is that as worse, is that as bad as shaking someone's hand when you see the little dry bits in between their hands? No, no, the hot breath's worse. Hot breath's worse. The hot breath's worse. The dry bit is the absence of moisture. I can handle that. 
the hot breath is moisture coming towards me <laughs> through air particles. Which are I, downloading. Th- and, there you go. Okay, yeah. Your stink <laughs> breath in my face. You're mad. Yeah, so I'm not saying I'm experiencing that by any means now because I want to go home safe and not be in trouble. I'm not saying there was breath stinks now before I get in trouble. Oh, God, but what yeah. I'm saying is, <laughs> in general, what morning breath is, is a violation to my nostrils. <laughs> In general, theoretically speaking. Oh my Hi, Ori. <laughs> Hi. How you doing, bro? Nah, I'm, nah. I, I was doing better when we didn't speak. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, sorry, I turned something silly. I had to something in, sorry, something deeper to something silly. And this next song, Queen. Now, I think we spoke about this as well before. Yeah. Um, but but seeing as we have a queen in the building, Miss Rebecca yes. Winter, and also oh, seeing as we have a gentleman who is also written from the perspective of queens and mm. also has a character that he admires as being a queen as well that he's created within his uh creative world uh what does queen mean to you um for me queen is it's abstract in the sense of everyone's individual right mm-hmm. um but queen is is my sense of perfection and you experience your sense of perfection through your own eyes but once you've experienced it that's just what it is mm. Do you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. what my thing is. And from that point, it's just, okay, queen. Like, you are a queen. That's it. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, is that my, my brother was going to see a queen totally differently from what I'm going to see. Mm. My brother might hate my queen. That's that, yeah. Man, are you for real? I'm like, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> that's my queen. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of... I just, so I, I feel like I wrote that from that perspective of like, I have a very individual sense of perfection mm. that might not match Ori's. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's where that... That's my perspective on... It's the same of, of being in love. Like it's my perspective on that connection. Yeah. Is that that's my perception of perfection. Mm. Ooh, I like that. Mm, that hit me. Wow. Are you complimenting <laughs> your own lyrics? Uh, nah, listen, the thing is, I just, it. Take I, to church. it's weird because I I wasn't in the room when I said it. Something else was in the room when okay. I said it. I was, mm, click for that I'm, I'm that's my perception of my perfection. You went, oh, oh, <laughs> that hit you. I'm gonna ask you uh, about aspects of. Um, of what might be perfection to you in terms of a queen. Uh, but I, I'm, we're gonna get you to perform this first. Is that all right? Yeah, still, can, can I turn up? Uh, yeah, yeah, just literally under the table, sir. All right, cool, you, I got it. You got it right there? Yeah. All right, so he's he's mic'd up. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Mr. Jay Amore in the building. He's gonna do a live performance right here on the scene. This song right here is called Queen. You ready, sir? Hit it. All right, let's roll. <laughs> Ooh, you've been on my mind ever since the first time I saw your eyes. I really dig your groove ever since the day we were introduced. Something about you, love, girl, you know you got that genesis qua. And I want to know you more. You're the kind of queen that a king looks for. Hey! dun da 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 Hey, boo, you've been on my mind ever since the first time I saw your eyes. I really dig your groove. Something about you was a uh, uh, do. Mm. Ooh, you're the Nipsey Something so refined about your mind and soul. Uh, and I wanna know you more. You're the kind of queen that a king looks for. Hey! Dun da 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 you would really suit this throne. I could be your king if you were. Oh, oh. You know me and you break the mold. Oh, oh. And all you gotta do is give me on. Oh. So let me get in your life. Promise you that I'll make it worth your while. Girl, I'll fly you away. It'll be your smile I put on your face. So let me get in your head. I know you and me be the perfect fit. And I want to know you more. You're the kind of queen that a king looks for. Hey! So Hey! 
said, I thought about you. Said, I want to make you my own. And girl, I want to crown you. And you would really suit this role. Oh, oh. I could be your king if you want. Oh, oh. You know me and you break the mold. Oh, oh. And all you got to do is give me your. Oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. So da 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 Ladies and gentlemen, hey. that was Jay Amore, wow. live performance on the scene with his wow. song Queen. I felt mm. that. Nice. Rebecca, yeah, go on, tell us, go on. All of a sudden, that idea of getting married, it's not really that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> no, I'm serious, your voice is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And it's, it's not just that, it's, what do you say? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Uh, it's not just that, it's the passion behind it. It's, it's just, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, well that's a that's a that's a true. I already told him I'm putting that song in my next book. I love in a that scene song. Already, so. Like I cover yeah. it. Like I love it. Yeah, I'm putting that. That's I that's that going song. in. That's going in. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's you. going in X and Y, my friend. Hey, yeah, that was smooth. Wow. I got asked. I'm here for it. I got asked right because oh. before you sang that song, you said about what your view of perfection in terms of Queen might be. Do you yeah. have any things that any pointers that need to be checked that is like your perfect Queen? Let me tell you something that's real honest. Go. On. Yes. And they are all destructible. And okay. I realise this because, so for example, one, like funny has been on my list since I was a kid. Mm. And I've realised my girlfriend ain't my version of funny. Like she's not. She's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> does that, does that, what, am I not making sense? She's not my version. When I listen to her and I'm like, babe, you're not funny. But you're she not she's funny, <laughs> but because she's not because she's not funny, I'm busting up. No, yeah, babe, that's yeah. not funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's funny. I know exactly. Do you see what I'm mean. saying? <laughs> so when I thought of funny, I was like, yeah, man, this is she's. I want funny in my life. I'm like, <laughs> wait, you're not it. So I'm busting up. Like this is mad. So one, that's for example one of them. Another thing is like, <laughs> you've got to have a certain version of like. <clears throat> Like I said in my song, Jeunesse et quoi, you have to have that kind of like, that mwah, mwah, that is just, you take that kind of care of yourself on a yeah. personal level. Yeah, yeah. But I've seen, I've seen my girl walk around, she doesn't care sometimes, her hair's all the way out here and it's tied up to something and then she's just in dungarees <laughs> around. The, I'm like, babes. But the thing is, it looks good to me though. So yeah. now that's destructible. There's something about, for me, this is going to sound so off key. No, it's not. If All right. You say what I think you're gonna say it's not okay. What do you mean? No, actually, you, no. <laughs> there is something about a woman when she is not dressed up. She's in the tattiest, nastiest, that's attractive, oldest T-shirt with the nasty JD bottoms from '98. Nah, with yet, a hair tight. No, I've got right? 21 years. No, bro. Yeah, I'm, no I found a, <laughs> that's a long time I ago. I found a pair of JD bottoms the other day from when I used to work in JD Sports. So okay. That's why I remember that. Uh, yeah, but it's just the tatty and the hair's not done, and she got the hair bonnet on. And I, I was gonna say something even worse than that, but yeah, I, that, I agree with you on that one, Mister Rowe. <laughs> but you say about Janessa Quara and, and carrying yourself a particular way. Uh, I, I've said this for many years. There's something about. <laughs> I feel bad saying this. Uh-uh. Right, and Rebecca is gonna judge me on this <laughs> massively. There's something about when my partner can comfortably in front of me pass wind. Oh no! Oh, that's it. That I actually find endearing mm-hmm. because not because I enjoy the gas comfort oh. level. It's the level of comfort I know you've hit. Mm-hmm. Whereas I know for many, it's like I couldn't even belch or I can't even be mm. known to go to the toilet around. <laughs> I mean, I, I get it and I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> I totally get it. I totally get it. But there's a flip side to that coin. <laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. So when it comes to mm. my queen, mm. that my queen can have poor portraits. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But, but but she's a queen. Yeah, just yeah. because like, well, I'd rather you just <laughs> let it let it fly. Then I know you had to hold it in because you're sitting next to me, and then all of a sudden your you're belly's grumbling. Yeah. So one of my boys, one of my closest boys, <laughs> he had to admit a couple of years ago that he just needs a little bit of ratchet 
in his queen. There's oh, a little no. bit of <laughs> oh, <gosh>. little, <laughs> a little bit a little bit of I'll scratch you in a fight. That's what he needs. Nah. Like, nah. He, no, no, no. I'm not saying I need it. That's not me. I'm not representing me here. That. But my boy definitely. I'm asking for a friend. Is it cool kind of vibe? Like he's <laughs> he's really in that space. I'm like, do you know what? As long as it works for you in your life and in your experience of this human life, then go and get it. All right, Do you what, know what I mean? What about what about you? What, what about uh, uh, the little perfect thing in a king for you that might be seen? Guy does Rebecca. Yeah, that, <laughs> might, that might be seen as like you know, <laughs> contemporary or not kosher. Um, what do I like? It's a bit like, I think kind of probably not being afraid to ask for help to some extent. Like, you know, boys are very match and very like- So you oh, like the vulnerability and the- of Not being too able- much, but I do like helping. So it's like, if you're really kicking me out, you're not like, I like it when they're just like, oh, like, you know that thing that you, you done? How did you do that? I want to do that too. But don't be like a mummy's boy, like oh, every, every minute. Oh, but you don't like the mummy's boy, but not someone too who- too much, but just yeah. sometimes like, I want to feel like I've helped and added to your life. But I don't feel like that's really that contemporary request. Oh, really? Like, mm. I want Rebecca to say, I like a guy that, you know, every time he bites his toenails off, he just, they, they're on the carpet and I what? step on yeah. them. No. Don't Some be so clean, <laughs> I'm not saying that exactly. She's been, no, she's been too clean. I appreciate you, bro. You see what I mean? I appreciate I'm trying to get bro. real out of Rebecca right get now. Get something before, real. Before Wait. we go to a, a tune, I want the real Rebecca. <laughs> oh, you like a man that dig out his nose with his little <laughs> finger and, and it. flicks it. Just eats oh, it. Just eat it. Let me eat it. Yeah, something, n- Rebecca, you have something contemporary that, that you like. That drives me crazy. What is it? Come on, there's something. One thing. <laughs> Damn, there's nothing. Just we on the toilet seat. Just oh, we on the toilet seat. Let him do it. I, you guys are mad. Like, <laughs> like, 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 I don't know. Did he, um, his, did he dig his hands in his armpits and then smell it? Smell it, it. go on. And then not look around to see if anyone's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Some men do that. I'm not even joking. Yeah, this is real. This is very I real. I don't appreciate any of that stuff. <laughs> Rebecca, we're going to give you a minute or two to figure out what it is that is uncouth or not so kosher oh, that you wow. like and appreciate in, in your partner. Okay. I'm going to go to a track where we do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Scene on BBC Radio London. My name is Louis Styler. With, with me in here is Rebecca Winter, Mr. O, and Jay Amore. We're going to play a tune and we'll be back with some hot topics and to find out what Rebecca Winter really appreciates in her guy that other people would find disgusting. Oh. Sam Sparrow, Black and Gold.